We're Becky and Lloyd. We love travelling and exploring new places. After a couple of hours sleep for me and a night full of packing for Becky, we drove to the Eurotunnel terminal at Folkestone. We checked in, parked up, and as there was not a lot else open at this early hour, we of course had to grab a Starbucks. As you can see, we boarded the train at 5.29, had a little sleep, before we knew it, we're in France, ready for our three hour drive to Rheims. So we have arrived in Rheims, which is, I think we're saying that right, Rheims? Yeah, I think so, I don't know, but it is our first stop and our mini France adventure. In Rheims, apparently a bottle of champagne is opened every 10 seconds. Not surprising as Rheims is the centre of champagne production. Rheims is also the home of an amazing cathedral, the Cathédrale Notre Dame de Rheims, where the monarchy of France were coronated. So we finally sat down after walking around for an hour trying to find somewhere to eat oh, that has gluten-free options. <laughs> and we are very tired because we didn't really sleep last night, did we? Well, no. you had like two hours. Two hours sleep. That was it. Because yeah. we had to. Well, we had to get up. At, we got up at twenty past one, <laughs> and I think we left around. It took an hour and a half. Yeah. So maybe just after three. Maybe, maybe just after three. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not actually long, sure. long drive. Long drive. Long drive. But was. yeah, we've got mimosas. You did look quite tired. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Thanks. Oh, we go because we're going wine tasting later, so we thought we'd just start now Why with not? a little. Cars parked with, with the apartment that we booked. It had parking, so we parked the car. We walked in. It's been amazing. So, looking forward to eating and then having a little drink as well. Our drinks have come. Yay! Cheers. <laughs> so here's our food. It's the croque monsieur. Here's Becky's gluten-free avocado and egg, poached egg. And feta. And feta, nice. So we're all checked in and now we're off on a wine tasting tour in the Epinay region, which is really nice. The sun has just come out, which is great because it did just start raining, which is very annoying. However, it is now sunny again, so hopefully it'll stay this way because otherwise it might be a very wet tour. <laughs> We're trying champagnes, right? Champagnes. Yeah. I think so. I don't know we're whether we're in the champagne region. We're in the champagne region. However, I don't know whether that's just means champagne. Oh. Okay. Like I don't know whether you get just sparkling champagne. I'm I don't know anything about champagne. No. So this is why we're going on the tour, Lord. <laughs> this is good. This is really good. I'm excited to try some wine. By the way, just letting you know, I'm in totally in the middle of the road to get this wonderful shot. Of Lloyd. <laughs> so our tour starts outside this closed down tourism office. <laughs> but it's, it's only closed work. down for winter. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> this is promising. Um, yeah. Yeah, but there's a lovely green. Yeah. Or picture, it's not really a map. There's a map over there. Yeah, look, it's some, uh, some touristy information here. Yeah, it says that it will reopen in spring 23. So it should be open pretty soon, but it hasn't been open since we've been here. The whole day. The whole day. <laughs> we came and scouted it out earlier, didn't we? Because I never like being like going into these things blind, knowing how long it takes us to get to places. No. Yeah. It's a bit early though. I know. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. Has. Has it has. operation.
<laughs> don't knock, don't knock the bottles. <laughs> it's aging now, so there's just a cap on it. And sometimes, if you touch too strongly the bottles, you can now it's cold. Wow, really? so many bottles. Yes, so it's a bit messy because they turn the lot in. Usually, it's more um, clear here, more space, but they uh, build 80,000 bottles. 80,000. So that's why it's a bit more. How far does this go back? Um, that's it. You can see. <laughs> they're all, they're ah, all you, filled. You can see a bit. Okay, Maybe wow. There is, so uh, it does go. Like wow. Bottles, I think so. Maybe <laughs> that is one nuts. or two meters. Oh, so, so, yeah, you can see everything. Yeah. Wow. Uh, some sediments. Yeah. You see? Uh -huh. So, it's aging. It's the yeast inside. Uh, and the yeast so is eating the sugar. There's just so many bottles. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I don't think I've ever seen so many bottles of wine, ever. Just in that section there. Gosh. And they sell 80,000 bottles each year. The first tasting is Cuvée Prestige. It's a blending. It's the first on your list. 50% of Chardonnay, 25% of Meunier, and 25% of Pinot Noir, élevé en fût. It means aging in oak powers. It's so pretty. It's really dark, isn't it, compared to the other roses and things? It's a really nice one, isn't it? Is this? One. This is your favourite, yeah. It's really good. The city we see in front of us over there, in the valley, it's Epernay. built initially in 650 so it's a very old one but it was rebuilt uh, four times because it was destroyed by the Vikings in uh, 887 mm -hmm. then by the English uh, uh, during the war <laughs> so thank you guys <laughs> was already in the champagne initially and the grandfather of Matthias also he owned the brand uh, Filipponia but Filipponia now is uh, part of uh, another group it's a little adventure isn't it <laughs> just be careful about this and also watch your head for okay. but after it's fine <laughs> This one is for... Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> for Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is Mar de Champagne. It's not champagne. It's a liquor made of the, you know, the first juice of champagne. Uh, yeah. When they extract the juice during the pressing, they use the the extra uh, <coughs> for, for this kind of liquors. So here is oh, the wow. liquor. 
<laughs> because here you had um, so horses before. Horses oh. uh, came here to move the bottles and everything because yeah. uh, they had no help with machines and it was very heavy to move if you move yeah. uh, 100 bottles at the same time. So, yeah, because when I left here I was like, oh my god, I forgot the glasses. It's very different than the Pinot Meunier that you drink uh, earlier. And why is it called Brut? Brut, it's the amount of sugar inside. So Brut, it's between 0 to 12 grams of sugar per liter. Yeah. And it's Premier Cru. So you have uh, three different kinds of classifications. So this one has less sugar and it's so much better. It's not. It's it's good. Uh, so we've been given um, the liqueur that's like a it's like a byproduct, isn't it, of champagne? Um, but it's, what do you say, 15%? No, it's really 15 so it's, I thought it's 15. I think it's 15, yes. this, okay. this one, yeah. And so it's, um, yeah, it's, it should be, should be really sweet, like a dessert wine. So give it a go. It smells really good. Yeah, it's it's really sweet. It's definitely more of a, like a dessert wine. Definitely. I'm not a huge fan of like sweet wines like that. It's all right. <clears throat> so this was the spirit. It's 18% alcohol. Mm -hmm. So we've now done the Alsace region. Yeah, I've done wine tasting there. And we've also done the Champagne region. Yep. Where is this? I want to do the road. Do you know what? I didn't know this was a thing. I suppose you have to travel down. Where's Calais? Like up here? Somewhere up there, yeah. So you'd have to like, travel down. Yeah. I'd really like to go down here. We've been to Cannes, haven't we? Yeah, we're just observing people who like, come to the wine tasting and just left their wine. That surely defeats the point of the whole exercise. Crazy. Where are we, Becky? Champagne at the Champagne houses. Lots of champagne houses. You have more efficient. And also Dom Perignon. This is the same company. So no, maybe Gorgeau in the back, which is uh, over there. Uh, Gorgeau is the, the champagne for the royal family, uh, for the wedding. Ah, uh, so, uh, so it's the next day. We literally just went to bed last night, didn't we? We crashed. <laughs> we were shattered. It was yeah. such a good day, though. It was so good. We'll review a little bit in the car in a moment. But first of all, we wanted to show you mm. where we've been staying because it's been absolutely lovely. So. It's beautiful. So here's a mini room tour. <laughs> so this is the front door. And to get in, you use a little code system, which is really good. The guy, Sebastian, he's the owner of this whole block. He's been amazing. Really, really nice bloke. He came and met us and showed us the code and stuff. It's brilliant. Um, so it's a studio. So it's literally just one room. Uh, which is great. So you've got your kitchen here, you've got fridge here. You can't open the fridge because all our stuff's there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a normal fridge, isn't it? That's true. And Does it, it have a freezer? Yes, there's a mini little freezer, you know, Amazing. like you get. Um, there's a microwave. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Your hob, a coffee machine, kettle, all the good stuff. Then you've got a sink. This is a boiler, I think, for the whole of the apartments as well, because it tells you which um, oh, wow. which one's in use, That's fun, isn't which it? showers in That's use. That's why they kept going off. Ah. Could keep hearing yeah, it. Yeah. And you get a sponge and a washer upper. <laughs> no, well, what's it called? Scrub. Scrubber. It also comes with tea towels. And. Yeah, what this place doesn't have in an oven, it has in a washing machine. Yeah, which is and amazing. Think... So you could stay here for a while. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
just the other side of this, we've got a little sofa. And Which is very comfortable. Very comfortable. And there is a TV. However, it's all in French. <laughs> I did have a little play to see if I could try and get some stuff in did English. Did you? No, it wasn't. But it's a smart TV, so if you want to sign into Netflix yeah. or any, Amazon, any yeah, of the others. Any of the streaming services. Amazon, yeah, Disney, whichever you wish. <laughs> And then here's the bed. <laughs> it's a studio, isn't it? Yeah. So. so you could watch TV from bed. You as could. Well. We didn't because we didn't have time. <laughs> <laughs> what I really liked about this place, though, it, what's really cool, is you've got that contactless um, charging. So you just put your phone on there and it charges. Yeah. That is such a cool little feature of it's this room. It's so cool. And you've also got a USB there as well, which is amazing. Then next door to each side of the bed, you've got a wardrobe. Oh, there's even an iron in here. In here you've got, what is that? Is that like a heater or a, maybe it's a heater? I think that's a heater. Air conditioning unit. It's an air conditioning unit, amazing. Yeah. So you know that you wouldn't be too hot in here. You've got hangers and also in here we found our towels. But this is a mini little bathroom. Um, it's got a heated towel rail, which is good. Which is lovely. Um, your loo. Toilet. <laughs> and your shower. Just it's a lovely shirt, it's rainfall. The towels are down there, all used. Mirror, sink, drawers with nothing in, <laughs> and a lovely bath mat. I think we've got exactly the same bath mat at home. I think we have actually. Ikea, where Ikea. Hey? There's a lot of Ikea stuff in here, which is nice. But anyway, we need to check out. Right, let's go. Ready? Ready to go. So Lloyd just messaged the guy to see if we can park a little bit longer. Because I don't think we got to see enough of Reem. Reems? Or, Rom. Or, 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 how did I pronounce it yesterday? Like Rom, Rom maybe. If there's any French people watching, please let us know. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you our champagnes that we bought. So we bought this one which was in the second place that we went to, which we got to try, which Lloyd asked to try, which I thought was quite, um, it's a bit shaky, got some a bit of a funny angle. You were a bit cheeky, weren't you? Yeah, if you don't ask, you don't get. You know what I mean? That's true. I'm just so, thinking, you totally need my phone to message the guy. I know, I just realised that. I was on mine and I was like, I don't have the app. One moment, please. So that's sorted. This is champagne number one. And this is called an extra brute, brute extra brute, which means that it's got less sugar. Hmm. Which is really good. Learning. It's gonna just pop in the car. We've got these little compartments in our car which are perfect for taking home bottles. <laughs> this is a rose one. And he was telling us that normally what they do to make a rose is mix white and red wine. However, yes. with this one, they take the white wine. And then they mix in the skins of the grapes, which is That's so good. Grape, isn't it? it's a red yeah, it's a red grape, so so it's it's just such a nice colour. And I really like the label and it tastes amazing. So I thought why not get one of these as well. And this is from Champagne a Salmon. So yesterday we were advised to go and check out the cathedral inside. Advised. Well they were, they were like, it's so good, you've got to have a look. <laughs> and so that's what we're doing this morning. We're gonna head on in. The cathedral we've just had a little 10 minute walk into the center it's 22. oh was it yeah oh, it felt like 10 minutes oh, we were it's chatting it's we've got such, we've such good company <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's been tied up do you think it's like night at the museum in case he comes alive i think it's so he doesn't fall down Lloyd, but however we will go with yeah night at the museum yeah he's, he comes alive at but night. they all tied up maybe he's the naughty one <laughs> maybe maybe chain him up Push, push. That <laughs> <laughs> So kings were crowned in this church until they decided to kill them all. Um, they didn't kill them all, they just got rid of the monarchy by killing one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look 
can also get a souvenir coin. Let's have to say how much it is. Oh, two euro. Yeah. You collect. Found love for champagne. We've gone for a rose. It's very nice. I just had a little sip. It's very nice. Have a try. Again, I forgot it was fizzy and it went up my nose. We've come to Le Lyon. Yeah. Hold it by the stem so it doesn't get hot. That's it. I'm not cold. Really nice. It's like that other one. Yeah. The one we bought. Yeah. It's very nice. So. I think the one that we bought was nicer, but this is nice as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> They've also given us a little pot of snacks. None of them are Becky friendly. Becky's gluten free, if you didn't know. So we'll have to try and search for something on the menu for you. They've got omelettes and stuff, haven't they? So you'll be fine. <laughs> So our food has arrived. Here's my absolutely massive <laughs> omelette and salad. And here's Lloyd's second croque monsieur of the holiday. Wow, when in France. A massive salad. Mm. It is your new favourite, isn't it? It is good. After a lovely time in Reims, we drove towards Paris to our next destination, Chateau Thierry. So we've come up to the American Monument. It's a bit windy here. It is very windy. We're right up on the top of a hill, but this is um, the place that we're staying tonight, Chateau Thierry. And um, we saw this online that this was here, that um, it's kind of just like a monument to commemorate the fact that American um, American Met soldiers, the yeah, lost their lives the here. Troops. Yeah, yeah. And it's to, it's on the land where they fought. So. Yeah. Wow, we're right up on the top and Chateau Thierry is right down in the valley just here. So this is the view from the top. It's got the different divisions that fought here. I don't know what they mean. Third Corps. Wow. Nobody else is up here. There's quite a few cars in the car park, but not many are here. I wonder if there's like a place to walk. Yeah, it's, um, there are some little paths, aren't there? So. Yeah, I wonder if you can have a little walk around here, and that's why, you know, park up and go for a little stroll. Yeah, you've got a map here. Yeah, this must be the First World War, because it's uh, 1918. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's the First World War. in the stone in the front. Yeah, so, very strange. I don't know, when was this built? Who knows? Who knows? Did someone go and shoot it afterwards? Maybe. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, so there's some American, uh, American cemeteries across this region. Really interesting. This is massive. This is unlike any other um, monument that we've come across since we've been here. I mean, it will be a bit different because it's more in the in an American style rather than in a French style, isn't it? This is so, true, yeah. You so can, it's got all the stars on it. Yeah. Like. Well, as we've gone and been driving through the little towns, you can see the little graves, can't yeah. you? The little and the crosses. Yeah, and yesterday on our wine tour, there was... Quite a few, weren't there? I think you can go inside. From the pictures, it looks like there's a little museum. Really? Yes, yeah. I think so. Let's go and find out. Okay. It's probably underneath here. Oh yeah, well, there's a little step there. Let's go and let's go and see. 1929 was when this was built. So that's why it's got bullet holes in it. Yeah, do you reckon they were fighting here in the second? I think people probably like shot at it because they weren't happy. <laughs> well, people I on don't. the other side. On the, <laughs> the other side. Well, this is cool. So that's what we think might actually be the bullet hole. There's other, there are other holes as well. 
that's right in the front of the, like, the main bit. And there's some, oh, it's so windy. There are some here as well, can you see those? They may not be bullet holes, of course, but I think they're, oh, yeah, I don't know what else would make a hole like that. It's like perfectly, yeah. you know, it's round, and then that's like where the bullet hits, it's the size yeah. of a bullet. Yeah. So we still haven't been able to find the entrance inside. We came down those back steps, we had a little look. It might be round here, around that yeah. edge. But it's the path all the way round, so. Yeah, I did like, think. This place is fully CCTV'd up and there's a security man. Yeah. So it's very safe. I don't know whether he's employed by the American service. It looks like he's got like an American police badge. Be cool. I don't know if he Could is. Could you imagine but... if that was like, you apply for a job? In America, it's going to look after here. Yeah. Oh, there's an open door. See, I told you. <laughs> wow, this is a proper museum. Oh, wow. Gosh, look at this place. The camera's not enjoying the lighting in here, <laughs> but this is amazing. This is amazing. Yeah. America's favourite Frenchman. <laughs> so I think this is here because they stop the German troops getting into Chateau Thierry. So I think that's why this sits looks like a victory. Yeah, a stand, wasn't it? Yeah. And the, on May the 31st, it's saying over here. See the map. The battle on the Marne. Yeah, but it wasn't until it wasn't until June the 4th, so they were here in like five days. Yeah. Then they caught them at another point trying to get into Paris. Interesting, isn't it? Learning new they things. Were, they, were on their way to, they were on their way to Paris. Yeah. So, just you know, they're going to want to take Paris. It's like the main one. Mm. And then it just shows the route to the victory, I think. Well, that was really lovely. That was nice. I feel quite sombre now. And also, it's free. Yeah, we I love think a it free would be thing. Wrong. I think it'd be wrong to like charge for <laughs> a monument of you know people who fought in a war. Yeah, that's true. Let's go for a little walk down here. We could do a little walk. It's very hot. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, the sun's out. It's beautiful. So we're all checked in to our next hotel it's the best western Ile de France I mm, think it's called yeah and it's literally up the hill from Chateau Thierry so I don't think I've ever far. stayed in a best western have you not I, I think ever <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have done once I don't really know but it's lovely it's, oh it's really nice yeah. yeah it's a lovely very comfy bed we're sat on and the biggest tv no, I've ever learn. seen in a hotel room yeah and we are watching the football Brighton are playing it's amazing. They're playing Chelsea today, and because it's yeah, three o'clock kickoff, I don't know whether you'd be interested in this, but I'm interested in it. And it's actually live, so I'm enjoying that. Live on the TV in <laughs> France. Yes. Lloyd's just very happy right now. So we thought we'd have a little chat about the wine tour and where we stayed. Mm. Both were amazing. Yeah. The wine tour was so good. I think we Incredible. had the best guide ever. Mm. He was so knowledgeable. He knew so much. There's a lot of him on the blog. <laughs> And he was just so, it was just great, yeah. wasn't it? His name was Batiste, like yeah. the dry shampoo. <laughs> um, and he was, he was so knowledgeable, um, patient. We asked him a lot of questions and he had an answer for everyone. So, and it's really interesting to see how champagne is made. It's like, it, yeah. it's a protected thing, isn't it? And it can only be made in this particular area of France. In a certain way. In, a, in certain ways. Yeah, the tour really made you appreciate champagne mm, and yeah. why it is so expensive. And you think, oh, so, you know, it's, I don't know, I always used to think champagne <laughs> was really expensive, um, but that's because I don't think I knew how it was made, that all yeah. the effort that goes into it, it like takes forever yeah. to make. 
So I appreciate champagne more now, <laughs> and I now enjoy champagne more now. I'm enjoying the champagne. It's so so good. I think it's I think it's because it's really f like well it's not fresh because it's <laughs> the length of time that it's matured yeah. is like crazy, but it tastes it's just oh. it just tastes much better here. Well, we're in the champagne region, yeah, so it's so going to taste better. It's going to taste better, isn't it? Um, yeah, and. It was so good. If if you're interested in in doing that wine tour that we did, we visited two um, houses of champagne, which are like the manufacturers, the, the creators of it. Yeah. Um, the two that I showed you earlier on the balls. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So and we and, got tastings at both of them, didn't we? Yeah. Which is amazing. But if you are interested, we'll drop the link. We booked via Via Tour, and um, we'll pop that link in the description below. Not sponsored, but, we're, <laughs> but it was so good that you've got to go and check it out. And they're saying actually they have low seasons as well. Mm. Um, and that's over the winter time. They still do tours, but it's just less of them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, and they but also. But we're coming do, up to the summertime. Yeah, so, so it's starting to ramp up again. So they'll be getting a bit busier, I think. Mm. And they It'll do. Be lovely in the sunshine. Oh, it'd be amazing. Mm. And they do um, like full day tours as well. Yeah, they do a morning tour. Which we're really tour. interested in. Yeah, they do a morning tour, an afternoon tour. A full day tour and then a cycling tour. Oh yeah, which, that which sounded sound quite fun. that sounded interesting. Yeah. yeah, might have to check that out in upcoming vlogs. <laughs> I don't know, but that was really it was so so good. It Highly really recommend good. doing it. Mm. And then where we stayed was also amazing. It was really cozy. Yeah, but really good. It was just it was just it was really clean, wasn't it? Yeah. Really clean. Well, like you saw, everything that you needed really yeah. was in there, bar an oven. But then you had your microwave oven thing. Um, yeah, so really clean, really equipped. Yeah. And yeah, just a, we had a really good night's sleep. Yeah. And it was really quiet. You wouldn't have thought that you yeah. were like literally on the street. Oh no no. So and it was in walking distance, twenty minutes walking distance to. We went to the cathedral this morning. That was twenty minutes away, and that's like kind of the centre, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So now Lloyd's gonna watch the football. <laughs> yeah. And the second half now, so it's not that long left. And there's a very strong possibility that I'm going to update stories. Oh yeah. Um, and I'll see if there's any nice photos that I can post. We've but taken you, some nice photos. It's been a, it's a really photogenic area, isn't it? It is. It's lovely. But if you do want to follow us on Instagram and you don't already, then um, we'll I'll pop, pop it links in. Yeah. like here. Go on, the boys. So it's the next day, and we just come down to breakfast, and it's kind of a continental breakfast with a few hot things as well. <laughs> so I've got some eggs, some cheese and ham, some fruits, some more fruits. And then a pineapple yogurt, which I'm very excited oh, wow. about. And some apple sauce, some apple sauce which is literally my favourite. We've got a cup of tea and some fresh orange juice. I've always got a selection of many pastries. Oh, gosh. Yeah. This is not good, is it? This is not good. Coffee and again a freshly squeezed orange juice. So everyone has now left with the last one standing in the breakfast room. But they've got coffee machines over there. The freshly squeezed orange juice is one of those kind of machines. Um, the Zumo machines, which is cool. And in there, that little section there, you had hams, cheese, and that sort of stuff. All in all, it's pretty good for breakfast. So we just thought we'd show you the room that we were in last night. So this is the front door. You walk in, got the bathroom just here, rainfall shower. There's the sink, the toilet. And then coming out of the bathroom, hello, <laughs> you've got the main room really. So just the bed here, two bedside tables, there's USB plugs, which is good, and a normal plug by the bed as well, which is really good. <laughs> and this is the most ginormous bed ever because it's two, I don't know if you can see. It's two singles, isn't it? It's like a divide there, yeah. it's two singles. Very which, European. Which means you stay to your own side. <laughs> well, do well, you? you you're to, meant to, aren't you, Becky? You're meant to, but then you wake up and you're like... And you're diagonal. You're literally diagonal on the divide. Yeah. What am I to do? Does anyone else do that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just <laughs> here... <laughs> yeah, just here you've got your uh, kettle and there was instant coffee and tea and a couple of biscuits. Um, just move my water. Oh, yeah. And they, they had this water as well. I'm not sure if that was tap water. We didn't risk it, didn't try and drink it. Um, 
You do have a safe that I kept banging my head on as I walked past. You saw that. Just then I have to move out the way. There's no way of keeping that closed. So I guess if you were to lock it, maybe that would do the trick. But we didn't put anything in there. It's got some hangers there. And as I said yesterday, ginormous TV. It's huge. It was so good to watch the football Absolute on yesterday. Huge. <laughs> anyway, it is past 11. We should just, have checked out. Just one more thing. There's oh, yes. A lo lovely long mirror here. Oh, you, you appreciated that. I did. And a little stool. That was handy just to pop your bits on. And then a luggage rack. Yeah. And all of our luggage. All of our luggage down there. Right. Should we get that luggage in the car yeah. and go to our next destination? Bye bye room. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, it's just Amazing. the, the, uh, Maybe the lighting. yellow light, yeah. We then travelled to our final destination in France. And just like that, we're on our favourite road in France <laughs> as we are approaching Disneyland Paris. So excited. <laughs> How excited are you, Lloyd? I'm really excited. I love this road, seeing the Disneyland Hotel in the distance. Yeah, it's, yeah. So good. We're not actually going into the parks today. Um, we had the amazing idea. We've got to do a little bit of work. And so we've got our, our computers with us. And we're like, we could go to Disney Village and do some work. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to go and do a little bit of work from Disney Village. Maybe go in a few shops, see if there's any new merchandise, that sort of thing. Yeah, because our next accommodation isn't ready till four. Yeah. Um, but we'll probably probably pop into Disney Village until then and then and then go and check in. So in our original plan it was to go into Paris. However, with everything that's going on here at the moment, yeah. we didn't think that was wise, so that will have to be for another trip. We'll, we might do a couple of days in Paris at some point and do like a, a little Paris mini series. I'd like to do that. I'd yeah. like to go and explore Paris. So this is a little different, you just get a little slip of paper now with a code on, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah, they didn't give you a full a full receipt. Normally they give you a full receipt, don't they? And just to let you know again, the code does change every day, so this won't be the code tomorrow. <laughs> or whenever we put this vlog out. So while we're sat in the Disneyland Paris car park, we thought we'd end this vlog. So the hotel we stayed in was so nice, wasn't it? it was yeah. Just, I mean, it was just your standard standard it was, hotel. It was comfortable, wasn't it? But we did we did last night. I don't think we said we did last night enjoy the spa. We went and got some food from the supermarket because the restaurant was fully booked, so we couldn't eat in there. Yeah. Which we were a bit disappointed about. However, it was a very fishy fishy yeah. restaurant. So I looked at the menu this morning and it was a lot of fish. I don't eat fish really um unless it's fish and chips um so i wasn't too keen um and the corridors smell a bit of fish um in the hotel but the room was absolutely lovely though and the spa yeah. the swimming pool the swimming pool jacuzzi. and the jacuzzi there were like two jacuzzis one that was a little bit cooler than the other mm. but they were it was just lovely it was just so nice to relax and it was like you could see across yeah. all of chateau thierry and just just across the countryside it was just really pretty beautiful so i'd recommend going there just for that yeah which is lovely and then breakfast was i mean it was your standard your standard breakfast standard yeah. all continental. you can eat continental with a little bit of there was a little bit was, of hot food wasn't yeah there? there was eggs mm. bacon and sausage it was a bit like if you went to in an executive lounge in a hilton wasn't that's it that's true yeah that's so it's very experience. similar to that yeah, yeah. So, which it was lovely, just standard as well, but but nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we had a lovely stay there all in all. It's been a lovely few days, hasn't it? it We've has. had such a lovely time we exploring have. new places, trying yeah. different things, trying a lot of champagne. Um, <laughs> we hope that you've enjoyed uh, yeah. watching along on this little a little French adventure. We have been on another French adventure as well. French, no, more European adventure, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So if you want to go watch that vlog where we went to Strasbourg, where did we go? Strasbourg, Luxembourg, Luxembourg City. City, and then up to the Netherlands. Yeah. Then we'll pop a little thing 
up little here. card. And if you have enjoyed this one, then please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We're about to go into Disneyland Paris. So for you Disney fans out there, we're back in Disney. <laughs> and we shall see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.